Hello and welcome back to Chemistry It Is All That Matters and today we're going to look, continue our look at stoichiometry with looking at limiting and excess reagents from chemical reactions. So as we do with everything in uh, stoichiometry we need to start with a balanced chemical equation so we are going to look at the reaction of lead nitrate with sodium iodide so here we have lead which is plus 2 nitrate and minus 1 so that becomes PbNO32 we're going to combine that with sodium iodide NaI both have a positive and negative 1 charge to yield sodium nitrate NaNO3 and lead iodide PbI2 to balance we're going to add a 2 coefficient in front of the sodium iodide that will balance our iodines on the reactant and product side and we're going to add a 2 in front of the sodium nitrate to balance the nitrates and also the sodium so now that we have a balanced chemical equation let's talk about limiting and excess reagents so here we have information about this reaction we are told that we have 25 grams of lead nitrate and 15 grams of sodium iodide and we want to know how many grams of sodium nitrate can be formed well if we have two substances of reactants and we have two varying amounts we need to first determine which amount is going to limit us now in class we did this the other day when we looked at making double doubles and chocolate chip cookies and we saw that there was always going to be one part of the recipe that is going to limit us because we're going to run out of that one first so in stoichiometry what we are going to do is we're going to take those two values and we're going to convert them to moles so the PbNO3 or lead nitrate becomes 0.075 moles using the gram form of the mass of 331.16 we convert 25 grams to moles and get 0 0.075 moles of lead nitrate. Likewise, we take the second reactant, which is the sodium iodide, and using its gram formula mass of 149.89, we find that we have 0 0.10 moles of sodium iodide. Now, the situation sets up like this. However, from the balanced chemical equation, we know we have one mole of lead nitrate and two moles of sodium iodide. We would need 0.15 moles of sodium iodide to react with the 0 0.075 moles of lead nitrate if we keep that one-to-one -one ratio. So this makes the sodium iodide the limiting reagent and this is going to be the one we're going to use for our calculations because this limits our production. So beginning with that 0 0.10 moles of sodium iodide, we do the stoichiometry and for every two moles of sodium iodide we can produce two moles of sodium nitrate from the balanced chemical equation. Then using the gram formula mass of sodium nitrate we see that we can produce 8.5 grams of sodium nitrate. So once again we use the limiting reagent and using the limiting reagent we are able to calculate how much of the product we can produce. Now another type of question that comes out of this is how much of the excess will be left over? And we can do this in two ways. We can do this using the limiting reagent so starting with that 0 0.10 moles of sodium iodide we know for every two moles of sodium iodide we use up one mole of lead nitrate and then using the gram form and mass of lead nitrate we see that we would use up 16.6 grams of lead nitrate since we started with 25.0 grams of lead nitrate in the question and we're only going to use up 16.6 that means we're going to have 8.4 grams of excess. Now we can also use do this using the product and we know we're going to produce 8.5 grams of sodium nitrate from our stoichiometry before. We then convert that to moles, use the mole ratio from the balanced chemical equation 
and then using that same gram formula mass for lead nitrate we see that again we're going to use 16.6 grams of, of lead nitrate and again using that 25.0 grams of starting using up 16.6 we're going to have 8.4 grams of excess so the basic idea is first convert to moles compare the moles to the mole ratio in the balanced chemical equation use the limiting reactant to determine how much of the product you can produce and then either using the limiting reactant or using the product you can determine how much excess of the other reactant will be left over so let's look at another example so here we are taking antimony and iodine and we're going to get antimony iodide so SBI2 yields SBI3 the balanced chemical equation we need two antimonies three iodides and we get two antimony iodides the first thing we're going to do is start with the gram values of each of the reactants convert each of those to moles and once we have the mole value of each we can compare those moles to the mole ratio from the balanced chemical equation now if we need two moles of antimony for every three moles of iodide that means we would need about 0 0.024 moles of iodine and this means that the iodine is the limiting reagent because we only have 0 0.0039 so we're going to use the iodine as our limiting reagent and therefore we're going to do our stoichiometry using the limiting reagent we are going to produce two moles of antimony iodide for every three moles of iodine present and using the gram form of mass of antimony iodide of 50245 we can, can cal we can calculate 1.3 grams of antimony iodide possible to produce using the limiting reagent iodine now to determine the excess I'm going to do this using the limiting reagent so if I have a limiting reagent of 0 0.0039 iodine that 2 to 3 mole ratio and the 121.75 grams of antimony as my reactant gram form of the mass I'm only going to use 0.32 grams of antimony since I have two grams of antimony from the original question and I'm only going to use up 0.32 I'm going to have an excess of 1.68 grams of antimony from this reaction so follow this through watch Tyler DeWitt's other video and there will be work we will do in class following up on limiting and excess reagents so keep working on your chemistry